This is The God Who Stays in the Key of C by Matthew West. Uh, make sure to stop the video, click the description. I do have the printable that you can um, print out and follow along with me. So this is a real simple way to play this through chording. Um, so let's go through the chords. We have C, F, G, and we have an A minor and a D minor. So C chord is found by looking for those two black notes here. And C, E, G plays a C chord. Okay, then we move up here to the three black notes. To the left of that is an F note, F, A, C. And if you move up one more, that's a G chord, G, B, D. And if you move one more, you could play the A minor, A, C, E. Okay, so it just follows the notes of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so then we also have um, D minor, which is C, D, D, F, A, makes up our D minor chord. Okay, so let me start by saying that if I play a C chord here, it's okay if you decide to play it up here or wherever you want. There's lots of octaves, so you can play it different places on the keyboard. So I might play an F chord here, and you might choose that you like the sound of the lower one here. So it doesn't matter, there's a lot of flexibility. Um, so find a little freedom in your playing. Okay, so let's figure out what left hand is gonna be doing. We're gonna play thumb on C note. Remember the two black notes, here's C. We're gonna play single C with our C chord, okay? F. Like I said, you can come down or you can go up. F single note. G single note to the bass. A minor. And then with our D minor, we're gonna play D minor up here and we're gonna open our thumb in the left hand to the D. Don't move your hand, just move your thumb open. Okay? All right, this is written in four, four times. So we are going to do a rhythm I call together, right, together, of those chords. Um, okay, so let's look at verse one. I'm gonna add in some vocals and I'm gonna play through a little bit of it so you can see how it sounds when we bring everything together. Okay. If I were you, I would have given up on me by now. I would have labeled me a lost cause because I feel just like a lost marching rhythm that is. Um, so I want to talk about a few things. I want to talk about sections. So verse one and two, you're typically going to have the same chords, but let's look at a pattern that we can notice. A minor, F, C, A minor, F, C, A minor, F, C, A minor, F, C. So you're just repeating through that same chord progression. Get your hands used to playing that over and over. Just remove the left hand. Get your hands used to where those chord placements are. Then you can add in that two beat rhythm. You know, you can just go through that in, um, in that order. So your hands get used to where those chords go. Okay, and if you notice the pre-chorus, you're gonna notice that similar pattern too, but it goes A minor, G, F, C. A minor, G, F. So if you help break it into sections, that'll simplify it for you as well. Okay, so let's uh, go back to verse one there, and I'm going to show you um, just broke it down, break it down for you in a little bit uh, slower rhythm, so you can see what it sounds like. If I were you, that's A minor, and we move to the F. I would have given up on back to the C. Me by now, I would have labeled me a A minor lost. Young repair F 
So let's look at the um, A minor for the pre-chorus to the G, to the F, and then C. So you're just doing that staircase down, right? A minor, G, see me like I do. that again somehow you don't see me like I do somehow you're still here and you could sing that an octave higher if you want it's just pretty high for me okay so that's just kind of that staircase um, pattern there for that pre-chorus okay let's look at the chorus it goes back into the C you're the God who stays you're the God This kind of changes up that rhythm a little bit. Let's go through that. You're the God who stands with wide open arms. See how that wasn't that, that G didn't hold on for two beats like that. It just kind of had a short beat. So it goes, you're the God who stands with wide open arms and you tell Sorry, verse two is going to be the exact same as verse one. You're just going that A minor, F, C, A minor, F, C. Uh, let's look at that bridge. And essentially, you're doing the same thing. You're doing A minor, F, C, and then you just move up to that D minor. Okay, so it goes A minor, F, C, D minor. Okay, let's add in the vocals and the rhythm. My shame separate my guilt can't separate my past can't separate I'm yours forever my sin can't separate my scars can't separate my failures can't separate I'm yours forever repeat my enemy can't separate beginning to end you can uh, loop back through any number of those things you can go from a verse to a chorus to the bridge back to the chorus um, have a lot of fun with this here we go the